Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got yet another IBM Selectric 2 that was bought off eBay by now, which is a customer of mine. But they bought this because they thought that, you know, they were getting a working Selectric 2 with original paperwork and maintenance records. So, they get it. It doesn't work. They had to truck it down from the northern country up here to me. And I had to tell them the bad news. This is not an operating machine. Not working. So the last maintenance record was 86. So it's been a while no matter what according to the maintenance records. But it does have original receipt. And this was $860 in 1977. Classic blue. Payment program. It's kind of cool but really doesn't mean much. Not adding to the value of this machine. And uh, you know, no maintenance for... 25 years? Okay, well, that's not so good. So, right off the bat, I haven't turned it on. It's got a broken element stuck on here, which they tried to get off, and that broke, the cap broke off on them. It won't come off. Doesn't look terribly bad inside. Actually, it's been here for a couple weeks, and I forget. I think it does come on. So, we're just going to turn it on and see what happens. Just like this. So, here we go. Hesitated just for a second, but not too bad. And it is working. Sort of. Not quite returning or moving. Very good. It's trying. But it's got some problems. Let's see if we can at least type on it, because this is supposed to be a working machine, which it's already not paper bail is out of whack here. That's not that big a deal, of course. Let's see if it types. Oh, just so I'm not touching it. <laughs> Machine crazy. Okay, oh, won't go back all the way. Yeah, this is working. There we go. No hands, man. <laughs> so it's got some sticky parts. So it's just throwing dashes. That's the default when the clutch won't latch up. Well, space for all right. Let's see if the keyboard is sticky. So repeating, it doesn't look like it's too sticky. Shift is working. Of course, tab's not going to work. Turn clutch is not going to work. Okay, so I remember now I had to tell him this is in my opinion, not a working machine as so, as described in the eBay ad as a working selector 2. It is definitely not, in my opinion, a working selector 2. <laughs> Maybe if they just think it comes on, it's working. I don't know. But that is not working. Now it won't type. So that's not working, right? Is that a fair assessment? That's not working. So, how can they say this is a working machine? I don't know. But, you know, happens. I don't know. There's, if there's 30 ads on eBay right now that say they have a working Selectric 2 they just took out of storage, it's not. 20 out of 20, it's not. Let's look at the hub. That's just what I was opening up here. It's not something. That's a good, good sign. Oh, but it's got some cracks. Let's take a close look with some light here. Okay, so it's got one crack. It's got a few cracks. This one looks like it's the biggest. Right there, that first one. It's coming right to the base of the cogs. And the belt is cracking. You can see the cracks in them in the belt right there. So I did quote them and I showed them this when they dropped it off. Gave them the option to replace the hub now or later. Because it's only now or later. And they decided to do the minimum it takes to get this working. Which is return. Get the carriage to move. Carry it to move around freely. Get it from repeating. 
return clutch and maybe we were going to put a tight ball on it. I can't remember. I'll have to get back with them. But uh, this printing, when it types, so. But this is what you get on eBay. This is actually not too bad a shape overall. But it's definitely not a working IBM selector. Pink step better. Good day.